Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Preston Market. My name's Dominic from m and Fruit. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to carve your Halloween pumpkin, or better known in America as your jack-o'-lantern. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is gonna choose the pumpkin. I've already chosen a nice tall pumpkin here. Um, if you're worried about a sketch or what shape you're gonna do, there's plenty of help available on the internet. Um, these were printed by my daughter off the internet uh, last night. But today, to be quick and easy, I'm gonna do something, if I can, freehand. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the top of the pumpkin out so I can scoop the inside out later on. So with a texter, I'm gonna, as best as I can, make a bit of a bumpy circle on there, as you can see, because that's going to lift out like this one we prepared earlier. All right? Then I'm going to do something just quickly. I'm going to quickly sketch something on here, and it's going to be uh, nice and simple for you. When it comes to cutting the top out, We'll put the knife in at sort of like a 35 degree angle. So when you lift it out, it's not going to fall right through. As you can see with this one, it just sits on the top there. So quite easily. So we're going to follow that line around. We're going to cut it. Now this skin is hard, but once you get through, it becomes quite soft. So the knife will go through quite easily. Okay, so we're through. So put that down. Hopefully that'll come out. Now, ugh. that's all full of seed. I generally use a tablespoon, just a normal tablespoon. And with a scraping motion, I try and scrape as much of that seed and, and, and veins out of the pumpkin as I can. Have you having a look in there? I've taken out as much of the seeds and the, and the veins as, as I could. Okay, so now we're gonna start our carving process. I've changed knives, so this is probably something you'd have uh, at home, something similar like this. It is quite sharp. All right, so now we're just gonna hold it firmly because it does roll around it being round. Okay, and we're gonna start following our line and you can either use a stabbing motion. If you've been watching a little bit of cod or a cutting so you get a straight line and just bring it down like that. After all that carving and slicing, this is what we've come up with. One of the last few steps now, let's get our rag. Bit of metho. With the metho, it's also gonna wash away any bacteria. So we wanna get the, all the texture mark off. Try not to get it on the inside of the skin because it'll, it'll stain your pumpkin. So try and keep it onto the outer skin, onto the orange bit. So just wipe it off. I find metho works best. The last step is to, how do we stop uh, this pumpkin from going off? Because it is a vegetable and it's not gonna last all that long. What I tend to do is get some Vaseline, petroleum jelly, and just smear the inside of it right around on the bottom, right around the pumpkin. And what that's gonna do is gonna put a, a layer around the pumpkin because those veins don't forget those veins lift off the stalk of the pumpkin and that's what feeds it that's where it gets its nutrients from that's where it gets the water from to feed it and the seeds and everything now we've just gutted that pumpkin so we need to put some film on there so it won't go rotten or it will last you a little bit longer so i hope that video was helpful 
If you're wanting to know where you can get your jack-o'-lantern from or your pumpkin from, right here at Preston Market at m, &M Fruit, uh, we do have plenty for sale. If you want any tips on carving or anything, look me up. My name's Dominic. Um, and yeah, I hope you've learned something today.